If your camera is not working on your Windows 11 or Windows 10 computer, whether it's a laptop or a desktop, you're trying to use any messaging app like Skype or MS Teams or any other application through which you want to use your camera and it is not working by any chance, this tutorial is for you. Here we are going to do almost very easy steps and very effective to fix this problem and we will cover all the possible solutions to fix this camera issue. Now the only thing which I require from you is the patience and watch the whole video and you will be able to fix this issue on your own. So here do a right click in the start icon and click on run. Once you have typed it, I mean once you have opened it, you will see a run window, small window like this and here we need to type reg edit. Once you're done, just click on OK and it will ask you to say yes and a new window will appear like this. So at the left hand side, we have many options. If you see uh, like this, you can minimize it and then just go to HP local machine. I will tell you the whole location. You don't have to worry about it. And even if you want to take a backup, you can go to file and click on export export it to your desktop or any other folder so that if you want to import it again just to reset or go back to the same settings you can do that so here under hp local machine i'll just click next to it and here we will go to software i found the software i'll click next to that and here we, are, we need to go to this wow node 32. so i'll scroll down and here i have found Wow 6432 node. So I'll click on that and you will see the location at the top. So we went to HP local machine first, then software, and then wow node 6432. Now under here we are we need to go to this Microsoft. So I'll click on Microsoft and we will scroll down like that and we are looking for multimedia so very soon we will have an option at the bottom now under microsoft we are looking for windows media foundation so i have found it windows media foundation and I'll just expand it and here we have this platform. So this is the location where we need to go and I'll tell you where what exactly the location is. So you need to go to this HK local machine, then software, then WOW 6432 node, then Microsoft, then Windows Media Foundation and then just left click on platform like that. Now, the moment you do that, here at the right hand side, you will have a default or any other value. So you just need to do a right click at the blank space and click on DWIRT 32 bit value. Now, even if you are using a 64 bit computer, you need to always select DWIRT 32 bit value because system under understands only 32 bit value. So we will click on this 32 bit value. And here we need to type exactly the same the way I am doing it. Enable, then frame, then server, and then mode. I'll maximize it so that you can type enable frame server mode. E should be in capital F, S, and M. So type exactly the same as I did and then just do a double click and here put the value zero. If you already have this enable frame server mode, then just do a double click, see if the value is zero or not. If the value is not zero, then make it zero, click on hexadecimal and just click on okay. Once this is done, restart the computer and your camera not working on Windows 11 or Windows 10 will be fixed. If you still have issues, we will move to the next step. Now the next step will be just to right click and then go to device manager. 
And once the device manager is open, here look for anything which says imaging device and camera. So if you do not see the cameras here, then look for imaging device. Because sometimes camera is not there, then you can have that same thing under imaging device. So here I have found the cameras and I am using Xiaomi USB 2.0 built-in webcam. So I'll just do a right click and you also need to do a right click on your particular camera. It can be Microsoft, Logitech or any other built-in. And you just need to click on update driver and click on search automatically for drivers. And if it says the best driver is already installed, then do a right click again and click on disable device like that. Now wait for a few seconds, two to three seconds and do a right click and click on enable device. So this will actually refresh the camera of your laptop and then try to open your browser or any of your application. See if your camera has started working or not. If not, do a right click here under cameras, click on update driver and this time instead of search automatically for drivers, we will select browse my computer for drivers. So I'll click on that and here we need to select let me pick from a list available drivers on my computer. So I will click on that and here I can see only one video device, USB video device. So if you have two or three options, try one by one driver because this driver is actually compatible for this. So let's say if I had three and if my camera is not working, then I will try first, then second, then third, like next and see if my camera is working fine or not. So you can also try all the possible drivers which you see right here and see whichever works for you. Once you're done, you just need to restart the computer just to ensure that yes, it has started working and it has my camera problem has been fixed now. If it's not, then close this window, then you can visit your manufacturer website. It is recommended that if your computer have driver issues, let's say if you're using Dell, HP or Asus or any other brand computer, then visit the manufacturer website. Just move your laptop at the rear of the laptop you will find the model number you know the model number which is very important and through which you will be able to model number of your pc service tag number and download the drivers according to your pc model number so if it's a um, toshiba laptop then visit the toshiba website and download the driver of especially the camera for your computer if there is if still you have issues there is one more thing before visiting to website there is one thing which you can do uh, here in the search icon type troubleshoot and you will find troubleshoot settings and click on other troubleshooters and here you will have many options and I see this camera uh, option here. So I just need to do a right, uh, I mean click on run and check the possible help here, see if that works for you. All right, so I hope you have enjoyed this very short tutorial. If yes, please hit the like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Have a wonderful day.